One of the reasons why I love my mum. I could give you a thousand reasons why I cannot sit here all day. Well, I would if it's just to explain how amazing this woman is. How well God has blessed me to be in this family. Hello everybody. <laughs> I know you guys will be surprised to see I and my daughter doing a sitting down video. But guys, um, it's just something um, I feel like I would love to share. And if you feel comfortable, you can share to your little daughters or your teenage daughters or your kids about what we're going to be having to discuss between <laughs> my daughter and myself well she agreed to it because she felt comfortable to talk about it isn't it yeah yeah so that's why we are here um wanting to discuss this with you anyway um warning abigail doesn't really speak loud but i hope you can speak up a little bit today yeah you can tell that i don't speak loud because mrs crimes before she left got me in trouble because i wasn't able to speak loud enough so yeah so abigail is 10 years old for some of you you would know that and especially if you follow my tiktok i made a whole video about my birthday and um at 10 years old yesterday i caught on my period <laughs> <laughs> yesterday she woke up and she started having her period mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 10 years old well i got it younger than her she got at 13 i beat her <laughs> um this is it um we were having those conversations here and there and whenever she wants to ask something much more i tell her don't worry you would get there as if i know as if i knew she's gonna be get, getting there so early so one of the questions she asked me was mommy when did you start your period and i was like when i was 13 and so like she said you would hear from her i want her to talk herself this is just me introducing the whole topic so yesterday um yesterday was what date um uh, 21st of july a thursday 2022 my daughter 10 years old got her period i know she's not one of the one of 10 that has got her period when she's 10 years old mm -hmm. there might be other um girl child who've gone through her periods at 10 years old so i'm just here for abigail to why i feel like we need to share this um some parents are very up close and personal they're not open to their kids and they don't have that kind of relationship with their kids but i've had abigail and we've grown together i think i'm the first person she talks to when something is wrong and um, we're very open she felt confident to talk to me so when the whole thing happened of course it was just the two of us at home she didn't waste any time she came up to her mommy i wasn't there initially when it happened so she's just gonna explain and we'll take you through her day because whenever i stop smiling i look sad okay now let's start um yes abigail tell me what happened okay well, let's tell me what happened before you came to me and how you felt okay so yesterday my whole day was a bit crazy shocking nerve-wracking just describe any word you can comment that down like is it any word that could explain my day so yesterday i was up earlier than her i was just sitting having a good time doing whatever in my bedroom and then suddenly i felt a drop from my pants and it felt like i peed myself <laughs> so i was like did i just pee myself no don't overreact and then about 30 minutes later i start really needing to go to the toilet that bad and i go to the toilet and then i see the state of my pants covered in blood 
and I couldn't find the words so I started screaming mom until I had to barge into her room because she wouldn't wake up and I couldn't find my proper words so I ended up saying mom my pants are bleeding <laughs> I literally came into the room and said, Mom, my pants are bleeding. <laughs> and then I just went through that whole stage of that morning. So I went to go get a panty liner. You might so know. I, she came and said, Mom, like she said, my pants are bleeding. And then I hold on to the pants and look at him. And I said, you are on your period. And she said, okay. And I'm like, because of the way and the state of how her pants were, of course, I introduced panty liners to her. Mm -hmm. We all know when you get into that stage, how dirty and stuff their pants can look like when frequently they went. So I introduced panty liner to her. She should be using panty liner. So I didn't know if she was actually going to start full or that was just an initial stage. So we, so I told her, go bring your panty liner and then let's use a panty liner. So I took off, she gave me the, the dirty pants, put it in water, of course, and then she went to get a pants, clean up herself, and I'm like, okay, let's put a panty liner, and then we came back to bed. Yeah. We came back to bed and woke up about 12 o'clock. Yeah, because um, I went to my room for a bit and I came back here because I didn't feel comfortable on my own anymore. <laughs> <laughs> After that oh. situation. So I came here, slept till 12, and then I wake up and I need to go to the toilet again. Obviously, periods, but you need to go to the toilet more than you're used to. That's what she's, that's what she's found out. Yeah. I'm happy she is taking note of how her body is changing. Mm -hmm. Throughout the day, she said, Mommy, it seems like because of my period, I'm going to the toilet to more. more. Yeah, because... Um, because yesterday I went to the toilet seven times in one morning. <laughs> it was quite shocking. Yeah, so she woke up and then there was much more blood, even though she was lying down more than what happened. I know, it was leaking out, it was also on my leg. And my mum asked me, is your tummy hurting? And I said yes, because I was having cramps. So then I had to go get um, these special type of period pants. Yeah, I'm um, letting her use wearing. the period pants instead of um, pads. Of course, she's young and she wouldn't be able to, she's not used to washing her pants, of course. We put her pants in um, the washing machine and I don't see myself going to be washing her pants all the time because I personally also use a period pants for the past three years now. So I introduced her to period pants. But of course... I, I am happy as a mom because she was just able to express her feelings. When I initially even asked her if she's having pain, she said to me, Mom, it's not it's, that it's painful, but I'm having cramps. So she can tell what yeah, is because, pain and what is cramps. Yeah, because I wasn't able to stand up straight without like flaring my belly in like that because it hurt. Very yeah, so at first much. she said, she didn't know it because of the period she thought because she hasn't eaten or have anything the whole morning mm -hmm. so because i first asked her and she said no she's not in any pain but of course she wasn't in pain she was having cramps so yeah so i started um giving her one paracetamol one every four hours because that's what is on the um the box i didn't want to give her the liquid paracetamol because of course her body is changing into an adult body and i don't think that paracetamol would have worked so i gave her one paracetamol every four hours and that has been helping a lot because i haven't had cramps since i last took that paracetamol this morning yeah and so um after the whole scenario i took her out went out and um, spent time at my friend's house and on our way um going she was able to just express herself to me what she felt how she thought like asking me questions that maybe i would even forget so she was like um, mommy how long am i going to be having this how long am i going to be in this and but i've just taught her what to do as a 10 years old you can 
just teach her what she's supposed to know and not go overboard with information just at that initial point what she needs to know and what she needs to know immediately so um i'm just happy for her i'm happy as a mom she was so brave she was so calm she Even the she answered me calm and collective so because <laughs> some people that already know have reacted different ways that are quite shocking yeah so i was really calm talked her through it show her what to do and try to tell her that now your personal hygiene has gone to another level you really really have to look after yourself and so if you have a child, child here so abigail before we finish um how well, okay you said how i i reacted was i reassuring were you comfortable with how i dealt with everything yeah do you have any fears do you just tell me yeah i was very comfortable with the way you reacted because since you acted calm and collective it felt like you were somebody definitely somebody who could definitely help me uh, because you've experienced this before obviously mm -hmm. so so the way you reacted at um actually shocked me i thought i thought you would react a different way as in yeah um like uh, out or... as in shock because i i was still quite young i thought i would get my period at 13 because you got it at 13 mm. and i'm your daughter so i'm like i'm probably gonna get it at 13. <laughs> no yeah and um it was just good like every step of the way whatever she, she felt something whatever she felt she wants to ask a question I ask her. Yes, she just comes up to me and, Mommy, is this how it's going to be? How is this going to be? I feel this way. Mommy, do I need to go and check it? Mommy, do I need to do this? And it just flows naturally. And um, I believe this is what and how it's supposed to happen. And so I'm happy for my child. There are upcoming moms who um, it will be strange to them who doesn't know how to handle situation because even yesterday I put something on my um, WhatsApp stories, people were asking questions, people were like, oh Cherry, really? Yeah, as a mom, I didn't freak out, of course I'm a mom. As a mom, you have to just be calm and help your child get through the process because we all know she's just gonna live with this throughout her life because that is how it is. And I feel like the information you give, you shouldn't give more than what you should say because she's still 10. As she proceeds, she's, then she gets to know more of what she is needing to know. So this is Abigail. I didn't want to say it, but um, well, yesterday I actually celebrated her. We went out. She wanted dominoes and all of that. I gave it to her, make her feel comfortable. I had and, cravings yesterday. <laughs> she has cravings yesterday and so yeah um and i'm about to make her a nice gift box because <laughs> are you actually yes because that is what um i'm supposed to do it came when i didn't realize so i'm putting together a nice gift box and she would see it. she'll see what is in it um when she receives it and then of course i'll make a video and show you over here. But Abigail, this is why you're the best. Because I have an amazing mom because some moms might think the other way of it and try to deal with it a different way. But my mom was very calming, reassuring and helped. So I went up to her and thanked her for ta taking care of me in this difficult moment. So exactly this is, this is exactly why one of the reasons why i love my mom i could give you a thousand reasons but i cannot sit here all day well i would if it's just to explain how amazing this woman is how well god has blessed me to be in this family yeah yesterday she came up to me and said thank you mom for helping me every step of the way thank you for making me comfortable Thank you for making me feel so much better. So, um, for parents, I know there are certain people who came into my inbox and said, 
oh i feel like i'm so harsh with my kids i feel like they don't talk to me because um i show they saw a video of abigail saying it feels like something dropped out of i know it felt like something dropped and i started thinking that i peed myself i'm like did i just wet myself yeah this morning she said that it's like a like something dropping out of her tongue yeah, if, if any of you have are watching this and you have procreate you know when you like drop a color and then it just feels feels like a shape <laughs> and then it makes that sound or that vibration that's what it felt like because she even said mommy where does the blood come from where does it actually come from because the way it comes it feels like something is just dropping out of me and feeling like i am just peed on my <laughs> yeah because the state of my pants after i just left them there for 30 minutes it was actually 30 minutes because the time that i checked after i was like wow i let that spread for 30 minutes probably be getting worse yeah so this is just an example i did this because is the way you nurture your children the way they will be able to talk about it i know some kids will shy away from it um some kids will not be able even to talk about it but i'm just glad that abigail she was so happy to call the grandma to tell her grandma she was on the phone like grandma i've seen my period and all of that and the grandma handled it properly and was like oh i've got an older child now yeah and it's just amazing it's just amazing and so yes um if you feel you need i know so many people compliment me on my parenting skill and how i've um, handled abigail and how um she's grown up the way she has and keep bringing in your questions keep asking questions and i am here i am not saying i'm the perfect mother or you don't know what you're doing yeah. but if you feel because everyone gets those tricky times and everyone has their own way of parenting so if you feel you need some tips you want to ask some questions i am here to answer your question thank you guys that thank is you. a we if you need kids advice come to me yeah. I'm perfectly free so if you need kids advice go to her she's perfectly free just because i have friends that doesn't mean i'm with them 24 7. so yeah Abigail. so thank you all for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.